Lesson 12.3, Customary Units of Weight. And the last two previous units for this chapter are linked in the description. Ounces and pounds are customary units of weight. We can use models, such as a number line or a table, to show the relationship between the units that are being compared. 16 ounces is equal to one pound. An ounce is less than a pound because we need 16 of them to be equal to one pound. An ounce is one sixteenth of a pound. An ounce is one of 16 equal parts of a pound. We can use a spring scale to measure weight. Here's a regular spring scale. Here's a digital spring scale. So you put something in the dish up here and it makes the dial go around to however heavy it is. Here we have pound. There's 16 squares for ounces and here's one ounce. It's just one square so we can see that a pound is a lot more than an ounce. And using a number line, we start at zero, and each mark is an ounce. One pound is 16 ounces. Here's one little ounce. We need 16 ounces to make one pound. And a Mrs. Kim needs three pounds of sugar to make cookies to sell in her bakery. She has 40 ounces of sugar. And does Mrs. Kim have enough sugar to make the cookies? So we think we need to compare three pounds to 40 ounces. So first we need to convert, that means change, the measures so we compare ounces to ounces or pounds to pounds, and we can make a table. So we know she needs three pounds and she has 40 ounces. We make a table, one pound is equal to 16 ounces. That's one pound times that 16 ounces that's equal to 16 ounces. Two pounds would be two sixteens. It would be two pounds times 16. It would be 32 ounces. So three pounds would be three times 16. It would be 48 ounces. And three pounds is equal to 48 ounces. She has 40 ounces. She needs 48 ounces. And 40 is less than 48. So no, Mrs. Kim does not have enough sugar to make the cookies she wants to make. And the letter is OZ. OZ is the abbreviation for ounces. LB is the abbreviation for pounds. There are 2,000 pounds in one ton. We can make a table that relates tons and pounds. One ton is equal to 2,000 pounds. We do one for the one ton times 2,000. That's 2,000 pounds. So if we have two tons, we have two times 2,000. That's 4,000 pounds. And if we have three tons, that's three times 2,000. That's 6,000 pounds. So the capital T is the abbreviation for ton. One ton is 2,000 times heavier than one pound. A pound is one two thousandth of a ton. A pound is one of 2,000 equal parts of a ton. When the number of units of weight are the same, we compare the size of the units. We have two ounces, we have two pounds. Well, one ounce is smaller than one pound because we need 16 of them to make one pound. So we know ounces are a smaller unit. Having two of them, that would be less than two pounds. Here we have three tons. We need to compare it to three pounds. Well, one ton is larger than a pound, so three tons would be larger than three pounds. So three tons is greater than three pounds. Make sure to multiply by the correct amount. We have two pounds. That's equal to two times 16 ounces because there's 16 ounce in each pound. That's 32 ounces. If we're not sure, we can use repeated addition to check our math. We know there's 16 ounces in one pound, so we add a pound and a pound as 16 ounces and 16 ounces. That's 32 ounces. Two pounds is equal to 32 ounces. 
For customary units of weight, one pound, abbreviated as an LB, is equal to 16 ounces, which is abbreviated as OZ. One ton, which is abbreviated as a capital T, is equal to 2,000 pounds. So we need to find how many pounds six tons would be. Six tons is equal to how many pounds? Well, one ton is 2,000 pounds, so we can multiply six times 2,000. We can think of the basic fact, six times two, which is 12, it would be 12,000. We do six times two and add the three zeros on it, it would be 12,000 pounds. Five pounds is equal to how many ounces? So we think we need to do five times 16 because one pound is equal to 16 ounces. We have five of them, so we need five times 16. We can do 16 times five. We do five times six, which is 30. We regroup the three and put the zero down in the ones place. Then we multiply five times one, which is five, and add the three more, that's eight. That would be 80 ounces. Five pounds is equal to 80 ounces. We need to compare using the less than, greater than, or equal symbols. We have two pounds and we have 26 ounces. Now to compare them, we need to compare ounces to ounces or pounds to pounds. So we should change this two pounds into ounces. There's 16 ounces in a pound, so we need to do two times 16. 16 times two is 32. So this would be 32 ounces and this is 26 ounces. We know 32 ounces is greater than 26 ounces, so two pounds is greater than 26 ounces. Here we have 2,500 pounds compared to one ton. And if you remember, 2,000 pounds is equal to one ton. Here is 2,500 pounds. And that's more than a ton, so we know 2,500 pounds is greater than one ton. Here we have 18 ounces, and here we have one pound. We need to compare ounces to ounces or pounds to pounds, so let's turn this pound into ounces. One pound is 16 ounces, so now we're comparing 18 ounces to 16 ounces. 18 is greater than 16, so 18 ounces is greater than 16 ounces. Here we have three tons and here we have 6,000 pounds. Do you remember how many pounds are in a ton? There's 2,000. So we need to change the tons into pounds. We multiply 2,000 times three. We can think of the basic fact. Two times three is six and then add the three zeros that's 6,000 pounds. We can also just do three times zero is zero, three times zero is zero, three times this zero is zero, and three times two is six. We have 6,000 pounds compared to 6,000 pounds. We can see that three tons is equal to 6,000 pounds. Emma bought three-fourths pound of chopped pecans to feed some squirrels. How many ounces of chopped pecans did she buy? So we think there are 16 ounces in one pound. We need to find three-fourths of 16 ounces. Using a number line, we start at zero, and this would be one pound, that would be 16 ounces. It would take 12 ounces to be three-fourths. We can put 16 dots for 16 ounces, we can split it into four equal groups. We need three of the four equal parts. That would be four, eight, 12. That would be 12 ounces. Three fourths of a pound is equal to three of four equal parts of 16 ounces. It's equal to 12 ounces. Let's try some higher order thinking skills. Mrs. Kim baked two pounds, four ounces of chocolate cookies, one pound seven ounces of vanilla cookies, and one pound eight ounces of lemon cookies. What is the total weight in ounces of the cookies she baked? 
So we need the total ounces, so we need to convert, that means change, all the weights into ounces. And one pound is equal to 16 ounces. She made two pounds, four ounces of chocolate cookies. That's two times 16 ounces for the two pounds, plus the other four ounces. That's 32 ounces plus four ounces. That's 36 ounces for the chocolate cookies. We have one pound, seven ounces of vanilla cookies. That would be 16 ounces plus seven ounces. That would be 23 ounces. We have one pound, eight ounces of lemon cookies. That would be 16 ounces plus eight ounces. That would be 24 ounces in all. Now we just add the ounces. We have the friendly numbers six and four, so we can add them first. Six plus four is a 10, plus three more is 13. We regroup the one, put the three down. Now we have three plus one is four, five, six, seven, eight. We have 83 ounces in all. Let's try some more higher order thinking skills. She had two pounds, four ounces of chocolate cookies, one pound, seven ounces of vanilla cookies, and one pound, eight ounces of lemon cookies. How many pounds and ounces of cookies did Mrs. Kim bake? So we need to add the pounds and ounces. We start with the ounces. We have eight plus seven is 15, plus four more is 19. We have 19 ounces. We have two, three, four pounds. So four pounds and 19 ounces can be regrouped because in 19 ounces, that's equal to 16 ounces plus three ounces. 16 ounces is one pound. So the 19 ounces is equal to one pound, three ounces. We add the four pounds from over here, we get five pounds, three ounces. So make sure that you multiply by the correct amount. Remember there are 16 ounces in a pound. There are 2,000 pounds in a ton. Our next lesson, 12.4, we're gonna learn about customary units of liquid volume, like cups, pints, quarts, gallons. I hope I'll see you there. Bye.